I'm going to show a bug that happens um, with Bitwig and Touch Designer when you send a lot of data from Bitwig over MIDI to Touch Designer, the data seems to spike, but that seems to be solved when you have kind of like a little relay program that just basically forwards a message is from Bitwig to Touch Designer. It's probably because it's slowing down the data rate. So here I have a bunch of MIDI values being sent um, from Bitwig, uh, basically mapped to these control values to uh, this virtual MIDI port on Mac. Here I'm going to um, open the MIDI device mapper. I'm going to in touch designer, I'm going to choose which input port. I'm going to do IC driver to touch. And you can see all the values coming in here. Now what happens is if I do a trail, you can see that a lot of the data seems to spike. And this is actually not accurate. So what I actually did is I made a little Node.js program that receives MIDI and then forwards it to another port. In this case, I'm going to receive MIDI from an arbitrary port that I've created. So I'm going to start this program. Um, so basically what this does is this, uh, basically here, um, opens a MIDI input, a MIDI, and then creates a MIDI output with, with a MIDI node MIDI. And then when the input receives a, a message, just literally sends it to the output. And uh, I've already configured the ports here, the port indexes. I'm going to show you this program running. Let me just make this bigger so you can see it. So it's listening for MIDI on port launch control XL. Actually, let me choose a different port idea. So I want to do the input port um, IC driver. Let's do relay. And then from relay, let's do uh, two, three. So it's going to receive it on this port and send it on that port. So now it's, uh, let me start that over so you can see it. It's listening on ISC driver relay and sending it to us. So I'm going to change this here to be okay. And uh, I have to change this to go to there. There you go. So now this is sending it to this Node.js program, and that's sending it here. And everything's smooth, which is a desired behavior. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it can be that Touch Designer cannot handle all the data, the high sample rate that Bitwig is sending. Um, yeah. Or maybe, I'm not sure. I have no idea.